Horford. The clock has hit triple zeros, and the ball ends up in the hands of Al Horford, who goes to the NBA Finals for the first time as one of the greatest road seasons in NBA history now has its signature moment. A road win in Game 7. A road win that sends the Boston Celtics home. Home to the NBA Finals. The Celtics are Eastern Conference champions. Let's welcome in the one that made that call, joining us from an equally important game at the Little League Park. The voice of the Boston Celtics, Sean Grandy. Sean, so far, this team has the best win percentage on the road in Celtics playoff history. What is it that's been the key to success so far away from Boston? Well, the soundbite answer, Christian, is that defense travels, right? The Celtics have been the best defensive team in the league all year, and that pretty much you can play anywhere offense tends to go up and down when you go on the road but this is really it's, it's unprecedented and it's not new it's been going on for a while the Celtics people are paying attention now because it's the playoffs and the finals Boston's won 23 of their last 30 games on the road it's insane and as you look at those numbers I, I stumbled on this a couple of weeks ago and then I realized this is all time and these are the greatest teams ever to play the 72 Lakers the 71 Bucks they're talking about Kareem there and of course the two Golden State teams this is when you combine just scoring marks which I've always been a fan of on the road this is the fourth best ever in the history of the game so since the 2013-14 season we're talking nearly a decade Sean this team has been a problem for the Warriors when playing in the Bay. What is it you see as the difference there specifically? I think the Celtics have had basically the, the three and D wings that have caused Golden State problems for the most part. You know, the, the, this isn't, it's not brain surgery how to compete with Golden State. It's just very difficult to execute, right? You try to make them pay for having Steph out there, try to punish them on defense. You think about the wing players, not only do you have now, but Brown and Tatum. That creates more difficult matchups than Golden State generally has. And even this year, the, you know, the two games were really competitive. But this year is a tougher year, right, to calculate the matchups because so many guys have missed games. Like when you Golden State came to Boston in November, the Celtics weren't the Celtics team they are now. And when the Celtics were out at Golden State in March, Golden State wasn't playing. The Warriors weren't playing their best. And that's the game that Steph Curry got hurt. And obviously, kind of sent them into more of a stumble late in the year. But it's just, you know, styles make fights. And the Celtics have had the right combination, particularly on the wings, to cause them problems. And they have six wins after a loss this postseason. That's one win shy of an NBA record. What is it about this Celtics team that makes them so resilient after a loss? Maybe having to overcome so much resiliency early in the year and having to overcome so much adversity early in the year with that resiliency. The Celtics had bad losses the, the everybody remembers the rj barrett three and the 25 point lead that they lost to madison square garden but the first half of the season was dotted with just gut shot losses and you realize you just don't want to keep feeling that way and when the celtics got the roster intact the way they wanted brad stevens probably gets some credit but i don't think remember his first year kind of running the show here being able to move dennis schroeder out of there being able to bring in Derek White, a player who complements Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown a lot better. That sort of smoothed things out rotationally. And once the offense got going, everybody was healthy again. Nobody was healthy in the league this year. But when the Celtics were for that two-month period, that's when they got on a roll. And it was just they bounced back from losses because they defended and they played very well. It wasn't a magic thing about, well, we lost the last game, so let's come out and play better. They were just playing for two months better than anybody else in the league, so they were difficult for anybody to beat once, let alone twice. Yeah, they certainly were. He is the voice of the Boston Celtics fans. You can follow him at Sean Grandy PBP. Thanks so much for joining us, Sean.